guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our channel is all about the food. We do taste tests, recipes, grocery hauls, and what's for dinner. And we are kicking off another week of What's for Dinner by continuing to use up items in our pantry and freezer. So we are having this um, Trader Joe's Chicken Chow Mein Low Fat. Um, Howard made dinner for us tonight. And so that's the packaging right there, of course. And then this is what it looks like on our plates. Uh, as you can see, it has broccoli, a bunch of carrots, there's chicken and bell pepper in there. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so I tried out a new recipe tonight using up um, some of the items that we had on hand in our freezer and pantry. So um, I will make sure to add the recipe in the description box. But this is sausage, potato, and cabbage soup, which is perfect because it is chilly here and this soup has an amazing flavor. It just calls for cabbage, um, hot breakfast sausage, um, cabbage and chicken broth and so let me show you um, what I used so I used this bone broth from our pantry and then I needed some extra broth for this soup so I just had some bouillon in the cabinet and I used that to add some ad additional chicken broth and then also from our pantry something else that we used up um, is this honey cornbread and muffin mix and it is from Aldi here it is, and here is the corn muffin. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and probably tomorrow night too, because there's a big pot of soup. And we will see you guys next time. Hey guys, so let me show you what we are having for dinner tonight. We are having DiGiorno Primo Pepperoni Pizza. Howard made dinner for us tonight. It's a frozen pizza, of course. So he cooked it directly on the oven rack and then he took it out and put it on this baking sheet. So here it is, looks delicious. And then we are also having a salad on the side. Here's the salad. Um, you will soon see a um, a grocery haul from the 99 cent store and this is where this salad came from it is a fresh express chopped southwest salad kit and it has cabbage and onions and green onions jalapeno ranch dressing mexican cheeses and blue and yellow and blue tortilla strips so here it is this is what it looks like all mixed up together and plated in the bowl so this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time Hey guys, so let me show you what we are having for dinner tonight. We are having spaghetti, continuing the pantry challenge. So I had some ground beef in my freezer, so we used that. We also had some spaghetti um, in the pantry as well. And then um, I wanted to make a dessert for today, so I made a peach cobbler. Here it is hot out of the oven. So I like Cool Whip on mine, so I do have some Cool Whip in the freezer, but when I went to the store today to pick up a couple of items, Howard prefers ice cream with his peach cobbler. So I got some Bluebell, just a pint of ice cream. That's what he likes. And then I saw a new flavor that I'd never seen before, Creole cream cheese, and that sounded really good to me. So I'll try it, probably not with a pie. Um, I don't like my pie getting really cold and wet. That's why I like um, Cool Whip with mine. So um, this is what we're having for dinner. I was going to make some garlic bread, but I figured with the peach cobbler, you know, that's enough carbs. So I did not make garlic bread. So we're just having the spaghetti. Um, I like my spaghetti with a lot of meat and chunky and lots of tomatoes. So that's what's in there. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so let me show you what we are having for dinner tonight. We are continuing with the pantry and freezer challenge. We had some boneless, skinless chicken thighs in the freezer, two pound package. So um, Howard and I both um, seasoned up some chicken thighs the way that um, we wanted to. So he decided to make um, Hawaiian barbecue sauce chicken thighs. Let me show you, this is the barbecue sauce that he used. So he just seasoned them up with dry seasonings and then he added this on at the end. And so this is what his chicken thighs look like. And then we had some leftover rice and peas that we wanted to use. And then we are also having this Fresh Express chopped Asian kit. 
which is right here. We needed to use that. It was in the fridge. And this is my plate. I have the same exact thing, except for my chicken thigh, uh, thighs, I should say. I used this. This is Asian Steakhouse Marinade. It does say for beef, but of course you can use, you know, the marinade for whatever you want. So, um, so mine is Thai pepper garlic. This is something that we had in the pantry that needed to be used. And I forgot to mention also, this was something in the pantry that we needed to use. So um, this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time.